Uh, good morning students in this class we are going to start fifth unit so in fifth unit we are going to discuss hazards and static uh, types of hazards that is dynamic hazards and static hazards in static hazard we have a static zero hazard static one hazard static uh, hazards and how to remove the hazards so this uh, topic we are going to discuss in fifth unit and in this slide shows the uh, dynamic hazard that is logic 0 logic 1 and logic 0 this is a timing diagram for dynamic hazards logic 1 and logic 0 and this is a uh, dynamic hazards and static 1 hazards so in that uh, circuit diagram we have a and two and gate and one inverter gate and or gate and and gate shows uh, the multiplication operation or gate uh, performs the uh, addition operation so he, here we have uh, two inputs x and y which will be given to the uh, input of the AND gate and uh, it will be the output of the AND gate uh, will be given to the input of the OR gate and uh, in second AND gate we have a complement of y input and z input will be given to the second AND gate the output of the second AND gate will be given to the second input of the OR gate that output will be a w so this circuit implements w which is equal to x dot y that is we are going to multiply the two inputs plus z into y complement and both product will be added and which will be given to the output w which would produce the output w consider the output when z which is equal to uh, x which is equal to 1 and y changes from 1 to 0 so in this um, diagram shows the uh, this expression operation only and y will be <coughs> changes 1 to 0 and t and u will be the same and u and w will be getting vary and hazards removal to remove a one hazard radhi came up of the output concerned another add another term which overlaps the essential terms so to remove a hazard radhi came up of the complement of the output concerned add another term which overlaps the essential terms representing the complement to remove dynamic hazards not covered in this course and removing the static one hazard and w which is equal to x into y plus z into y bar and we have a k map uh, three variable k map 0 1 and 0 0 1 0 1 1 1 1 0 and we will have an expression w which is equal to x into y plus z into x plus x into uh, z so here we are having three and gate uh, and gate the first and gate will be x y that input will be given to the and gate which will produce the output and x and y bar will be given to the second and gate z and x bar will be given to the third and gates these third uh, I mean these three and gate will produce the output that will uh, given to the input of the R gate which will produce the output W and to speed up ripple carry adder abandon uh, compositional approach to the adder design that is do not build the design up from full adder but instead design adder as a block of two level combination logic with two inputs plus one for carrying an input plus one for carry output so what are the features means low delay two gate delays and need some gates with large number of inputs which are not available and very complex to design and implement imagine the truth table and this slide shows the clearly the second level approach is not feasible one possible approach is to make use of the full adder blocks but to generate that carry signal independently so using this fast carry generation logic so now we don't have to wait for the carry signals so to ripple from full adder to full adder before outcomes valid 
so in this slide see fast carry generation here we have a uh, four so this slide shows the fast carry generation and here we have a four full ladder and uh, four half ladder circuits and we have a two input and two output two inputs are the a0 and b0 and outputs are sum and carry and uh, we have a, a four full ladder means a0 b0 a1 b1 a2 b2 a3 b3 and uh, c0 uh, is a carry c in is a carry in and c out is a carry out we have a conventional or ca ripple carry a header and for fast carry generation and we have a four half order circuit and for fast carry order and fast carry generation we have a four uh, uh, half order circuit we have a two input a0 b0 and uh, output sum and carry four half order circuit means a0 inputs are a0 b0 a1 b1 a2 b2 a3 b3 and k i mean and k carry is a c0 c1 c2 and c3 and sum is a s1 s2 s3 and s0 so these are the fast carry generation and we will now determine the boolean equation uh, required to generate the fast carry signals to do this we will consider the carry out signal c out generated by a full ladder stage and which conventionally gives rise to the carry in uh, c in to the next stage that is c i plus 1 and this figure shows the fast carry generation here we have a uh, in uh, full ladder and c a b c inputs from 0 0 to 1 1 1 we have a sum and um, carry and we have a carry out always 0 cal this carry kill k i which is equal to ai and bi bar pi which is equal to for that is as carries out sums um, same as carry in call is uh, carry propagate which will be uh, represented by pi which is equal to ai exclusive bi carry out generator independently for a carry in call this carry generate j which is equal to ai bi also from before si which is equal to a1 uh, exclusive uh, b1 exclusive and c1 this slide shows the fast carry generation and this slide shows the fast carry generation also from before we have c i plus 1 which is equal to a i b i plus c i into a i plus b i or alternatively or c i plus 1 c j plus 1 which is equal to a i b i plus c i into a exclusive b i exclusive using this previous expression gives c i plus 1 which is equal to j i plus c i plus b i that is similarly we have a c i plus 2 c i plus 2 c i plus 2 we have g i plus 1 plus c i plus 1 b i plus 1 and we have to substitute in that c i plus 1 for this equation we get i plus 1 b plus 1 j i c i p p i and we have to substitute the j uh, i plus 2 in that equation we get c i plus 1 plus p i j plus uh, j i plus p i plus 1 p i c i so this is a fast carry generation and uh, similarly we have a c j plus 3 c j plus 3 and uh, c j plus 4 we get the expression respectively and uh, j plus 3 is g i plus 2 plus c i plus 2 plus p i plus 2 j plus 3 which is equal to g i plus 2 plus p i plus 2 into g i plus 1 plus p i plus 1 into g i plus 1 c i into p i and c i plus 3 which is equal to g i plus 1 plus p i plus 2 into g i minus 1 into p i plus 1 2 into p i plus 1 into p i c i and c, c into i uh, plus 4 which is equal to g into i plus 3 e plus c i plus 3 plus i plus 3. Similarly, we can get the g uh, i plus 4 and i plus 4 from uh, I mean, um, substituting this equation, we get this uh, expression. And for uh, example, generate c4 that is i which is equal to 0, 
C4 which is equal to G3 plus P3 into G2 plus P2. Gi plus PIGO which is equal to P3 plus P2 plus P1 into P0 into CO. So where G which is equal to G3 plus P3 into G2 plus P2, Gi plus P1, G0. P which is equal to P3, P2, P A, P0. So this is it. Evaluate this function.